Sonic Boom A jet plane flies overhead at Mach number 1.7 and at a constant altitude of 1250 meters. Part A. What is the angle alpha of the shock wave cone? Part B. How much time after the plane passes directly overhead do you hear the sonic boom? Neglect the variation of the speed of sound with altitude. Okay, so here is our jet, jet plane. This is moving at a speed V. And this here is the sound propagating at speed of sound Vs. And V is greater than Vs. So the distance traveled by the plane is Vt in the time interval t. Whereas the distance traveled by the sound wave is Vs times t. And it is less than Vt. So this forms a, a cone, shock wave cone. And we can see that this is the half angle alpha of the shock wave. Now if we look at... This right triangle here, sine of alpha, is Vst divided by Vt. So we can write sine alpha equals Vs, the speed of sound, divided by V, the speed of the jet plane. And this is equal to 1 over the Mach number and because the Mach number is defined as V divided by Vs. So we have uh, V is equal to Mach number times the speed of sound. Now we obtain alpha is equal to sine inverse of 1 over the Mach number, which is 1 over 1.70. And this gives us the angle of the shockwave cone to be 36.0 degrees. So that's the half angle of the shockwave cone. Now, uh, let's also note that Vs here is the speed of sound. And V here is the speed of the jet plane and this is supersonic so V is greater than Vs. Now in part B uh, the plane passes directly overhead you travels a distance V delta T and at the same time uh, after the plane passes directly overhead do you hear the sonic beam so you have uh, the sonic, the shock wave cone uh, basically uh, approaching your ear. So you have uh, at an altitude 1250 meters is where the jet plane is. Then you will hear the uh, sonic boom. Now tangent alpha, you can see here, is h, the altitude divided by uh, v delta t. So we find that delta t, the time required to hear the sonic boom, is h divided by v tangent alpha. So this is basically equal to uh, h divided by Mach number. Uh, now Mach number times the speed of sound is equal to v multiplied with tangent alpha so for v we have substituted mach number times the speed of sound so we obtain delta t as 1250 divided by mach number 1.7 speed of sound in air 343 meters per second tangent 36 so the time it takes for the sonic boom to reach our ear is 2.95 seconds. <clears throat> so this problem is about shock waves. We have a jet plane flying at a Mach number 1.7, which is the ratio of the uh, speed of that plane to the speed of sound. So it's greater than the speed of sound. Therefore, it creates shock waves. 
at a constant and altitude of 1250 meters. The angle of the shockwave cone can be found here in a time interval uh, t, vt is the distance traveled by the plane, vs times t is the distance traveled by the sound wave generated at t is equal to zero. So this forms our shock wave cone with the half angle alpha. Sine alpha from this right triangle we can see is vs divided by v which is 1 over the Mach number. So alpha is sine inverse 1 over the Mach number, 36 degrees. Now, how much time after the plane passes directly overhead do you hear the sonic beam? So, uh, the plane passes uh, after uh, overhead and then travels a distance V times delta T. And now the shock wave cone is going to uh, reach our uh, ear. Uh, so, making this half angle alpha here, we can see that tangent alpha is h divided by v delta t and v is speed of sound times the Mach number. So we can substitute these numbers here uh, and we obtain the time to be 2.95 seconds.